Hi, welcome to B-Town Talk, a production of Ben Salem Community Television. I'm your host, Dawn Davis, and together again with Mayor Joseph DiGeralmo. Thanks for joining me, Mayor. Hi, Dawn. Things are well. Good to see you. Thank you. Let's, we just wanted to say a quick hello, little wrap up of the Fall Festival, which it's hard to believe this weekend, it'll be three weeks ago, that Ben Salem celebrated its 23rd. 23rd. It's always been a mystery number, even though it's a. Well, you weren't born yet when, the, when okay, I started this. The offshoot of the tricentennial. Uh, in 1992, denoting Ben Salem's 300th birthday. Boy, has it evolved. And it's one of the signature days that we have in Ben Salem. And it was a great day. And really, the purpose today, Mayor, as, as you and I have discussed, is to thank our sponsors. Without the sponsors, without their support, without there's so many people to thank. I mean, really, just the sponsors we want to focus on today, our employees and the people behind the scenes, that's a given. We couldn't do it without them either. But, Mayor, why don't you talk a little bit about well, the support we're certainly, of the sponsors? Certainly, you said it all about the sponsors, and we need to remember TD Bank, Absolutely. who uh, is, a, is a very big sponsor. And actually, the uh, theater is named TD Bank Amphitheater. And here in Ben Salem. So, with all of those put together and all of the people that keep it going, doing it gives us the opportunity to give Ben Salem the great shows that they, I think they get on. I think by the crowds coming, we prove that it's a very successful uh, venue. The fall festival and, of course, the concerts that preceded it all year uh, has made it worthwhile and, and people really enjoy it. I, I walked the crowds a few times and everybody's happy and dancing. Absolutely. It's truly about friendship, goodwill, the street fair, the amusements, and of course at the end of the day it's about the great entertainment. And I have to say this year we had a little bit of a change where we moved the concert back an hour and that seemed to go over really well with great. the crowd. It had Good. continuity of the day and as people prepared to see the Tramps featuring Earl Young and Harold Melvin's Blue Notes, it just turned out to be phenomenal. You know, the way it was set up is it was tracked music, but the gentlemen, the talent, of course, sang. They certainly weren't lip syncing. And it turned out to be one of the best entertainment that we've had at a fall festival in quite a few years. They're always good, but this year just seemed to be really special. And based upon the feedback we got from the community, it, it, I think the proof is in the pudding. People had a great time. I must have heard Disco Inferno 13 times the week after the fall festival. But all in all, it was good. And like the mayor said, we thank TD Bank. We have to thank Parks Casino as well. They're a large sponsor and contributor, as well as the Ben Salem Economic Development Corporation. And then, of course, all of our Mayor's Club sponsors, our associate sponsors, festival friends, and, of course, our business and our civic partners that make up the population of the fall festival. All in all, it was a good day, very few glitches, and apparently there's a way to calculate the ingress and egress of people coming to the festival, and I've been told it's just a little bit under 30,000. So imagine 30,000 people out in our Central Park, where yeah. the home of the TD Bank campus. I, I want to touch on one thing that's, uh, that's very, very important. Uh, this doesn't happen that day. Oh. <laughs> it, it takes so much and doing, and we have to thank you and your team that goes out there. And that team consists of a lot of lot of our public works, uh, even our uh, right. parks and rec, sure. and 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 d just just a, a tremendous the police department. It just everybody working together. So I just want to know it just doesn't happen in a pier. So you do a great job, and I thank you for that. Well, Mayor, we well, thank you for and Council for giving us the opportunity to let the festival grow to, to what it has evolved to uh, in the last, I think, it's, well, I've been doing it about 10 years. years. No, how long I've been doing it, I'll say about 10 years or so. And in the last five, it, it's really come into its own. But anyway, thank you to everyone. Thank you to our sponsors, our guests. It was a great day. Now we're going to move forward to some events that are going to be taking place within the next few weeks that we wanted to tell you about so that you're prepared. We like to provide you with information that you can use. And if you're a fan of Ben Salem Community Television, 
You will note that we did a little show yesterday at the Ben Salem Library with our fire, it's, I always get it messed up, fire. Rescue. Our fire rescue team, uh, and October's Fire Prevention Month, and we did a show with uh, Rob Sponheimer, the, the, the Italian youngster. chief, and the little kids that came for story time, but it, it was better than that because they brought a fire engine and the kids got to play with the hose, and it, it, it was just really wonderful. There's one more open house. Most of our, all of our volunteer fire companies have open houses during the month of October. There's one left, and it would be this Saturday, and it's at the Newport Fire Company. I always want to say Newportville, but the Newport Fire Company, that's at 2900 Pascalone Boulevard. They'll be having all sorts of demonstration and food and fun and games for the kids, and, it's, and it really provides you with some more in-depth fire prevention education. And, and, and let's, if you go out there, thank your volunteer firemen that are there for the great job that they do to protect us. Absolutely. And with that being said, it is October 26 from 11 to 4 this Saturday. There's several things actually happening this Saturday, and I know, Mayor, you have something that's very interesting uh, for, our, for our residents. Yes, uh, recycling day. Now this recycling is anything with the plug. Try to remember that. Anything that you can plug into a receptacle will be taken and recycled. It could be a toaster, anything. Any computers, TVs. Just remember, and if it has a plug, you can bring it here and we'll recycle it for you. And that is on Saturday and, it, and uh, the 26th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you won't even have to get out of your cars, hardly. People are there to take them out of your car or truck. And there's nothing you have to do but drive through. It's at the Public Works on Byberry Road. You'll drive in, drive through the building, go around back. They'll take everything out of your car and uh, or truck like I said and it'll be recycled and it's a great program we've done it twice before and it really really works and it gets stuff in your house that you don't want anymore that you can't throw out into the trash so it, it's a great day again October 20, 26 from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So uh, make sure you get there. And what's great about that, I know a lot of people are always concerned about their hard drives and their computer. And Mayor, you know that when it, like the Mayor said, it's convenient, you pull through the garage bays of the Public Works building. And you know, if you're that concerned about it, you can actually watch them destroy the, the hard drive of you know of your information so you can feel secure with that it's a great program I think this is the third time that we have done it we've received a huge community response and it's at no cost to you at all no cost to taxpayers uh, just a wonderful amenity of living here in Ben Salem Township so I think you know it's a great, great. program I'm at, I actually have equipment and we have equipment here that we Leah. is no longer in use. It's it's a defunct per se, and we're going to take it uh, and utilize the services ourselves. The only thing you have to remember, with a plug. It, that it's means so funny. People if call. You plug listen, it in. I have a blow dryer. Can I bring that? Yes. I have a microwave. A Can I bring that? Yes. Anything with a plug. Don't bring a it kitchen makes sink. Me laugh. No kitchen sinks. <laughs> no plug. They won't accept it. It's that darn simple. It really is. It is. Anything with we and the simpler you make it, sometimes the more complicated people make. But anyway, but on Saturday night, it, we're going to switch gears here. White Dove Charities Annual Spooktacular. This is a group of young ladies who have gotten together. They're a nonprofit organization, and what they do is they hold these fun fundraisers and they raise money and they, they'll pick a group each year that truly need the funding to continue a, a mission, a service that they provide. So that is Saturday night at the Hilltop Athletic Club, which is located at 4100 Grove Avenue in what we call Feasterville or the Oakford section, but it's all Ben Salem, uh, up off of Bristol Road. It is $35 in advance, $40 at the door. I mean, at this point, it's probably going to be, if you're interested, at the door, $40. They have games. They have dancing. Of course, you wear a costume. There'll be contests, and it's always a good time. So they're also asking for people to bring canned good diapers, toys, games, and basic 
toiletry items, and even yarn. So if you'd like to participate in this, uh, actually, there's not a number on here, but you can call me, 215-633-3631. That's the Spooktacular White Dove Charities annual event. With that, terrible segue, but, you know, flu season is upon us. You can't get away from it. It's on television constantly. But um, the Ben Salem uh, EMS will be hosting their annual flu shot campaign. Now, what you need to do is make an appointment. You need to make an appointment to get the flu shot from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the 29th, which is next week, the 29th uh, of October. Again, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You need to call to make an appointment. You can't just show up. I, ha I have to stress that because a lot of people just show up and it just causes a whole hazari of things going on. But please call this number, 215-245-4300 and make your appointment to get your flu shot. It's extremely important, especially for seniors, to receive their flu shot the pneumonia shot and well they don't it's just the flu shot here but i'm just stressing the emphasis of also you can get a shingle shot there have so many immunizations out there today but on the 29th if you do need a flu shot please make an appointment with ben salem ems the 29th of october again the phone number 215-245-4300 and uh, they'll take care of that for you. Sounds good. A lot of information. A lot of stuff. A lot of, a lot of things going on in Ben Salem. So it's uh, a great day. And I love the, how calm it is today. I love the color the of the water. The water is, is very beautiful. calm today. And uh, hopefully you don't get pushed backwards. Uh, there, well, we could drown. Oh, Mayor. I know how to swim. All right. So, Whatever you say. Okay. Well, it was a good show. <laughs> With that... I'm Dawn Davis, Mayor D. Girolamo. This is B-Town Talk. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. We'll talk to you later. God bless everybody.